Okay, what do you know about spiders? What do you have in common with spiders? The number of legs? No, spiders have eight. The number of eyes? No, spiders have between two to eight eyes. But then, what do you have in common with spiders? Bacteria. Both humans and spiders have bacteria living inside their gut, on their body, and where they live. For humans, we start to understand why we, have, why we have bacteria and why we need them. But in spiders, it's still a mystery. That's why I'm looking on bacteria DNA extracted from spiders to try to understand how spiders get their bacteria, which is the first step to understand how much the spiders need their bacteria. So as humans, we have different possibilities of getting bacteria. We can get bacteria from our mom, from the food we eat, or from the people we are living with. Living with. Sounds weird for spiders, right? Well, not all, the, not all of the spiders are solitary and aggressive to each other. There are a few species which are living in the tropical area, which are building nests on branches where they live together, hide from predators, raise their babies, and stay until uh, prey fly into the web. And then they go to the web, capture the prey, and eat it together. And I found that those social spiders get their bacteria from their mom, and then later on, share it with the spiders they are living with, exactly as human. OK, so now we know how the spiders get their bacteria. But where does the bacteria come from? Could it come from the environment, for example? OK, let's go further. Do you have specific bacteria because you live somewhere, or you live somewhere because you have specific bacteria? So to, un to try to reply to this chicken egg, chicken egg question, I'm comparing spiders living in cities to spiders living in the countryside. And why comparing sp urban spiders to rural spiders? It's because living in cities might be challenging for spiders. It's warmer, it's polluted, there is less vegetation, there is less insects, and they are smaller. So I have collected garden spiders, which are looking like this beautiful lady here, and I found that spiders living in the cities have different bacteria than the one living in the countryside, which means that the bacteria of the spiders could help the spiders to cope off with the challenges of the city life. Okay, so I hope now you know that you do have something in common with spiders and you won't smash them anymore when you see them in your house. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>